Yesterday, Chinese company Alibaba dropped a brand new open weight long horizon mixture of experts agentic coding model named Quen3 Coder. And amazingly, it's the first open weight model that matches the programming performance of Claude 4, the undisputed leader of AI vibe coding tools at the present time. Not only is the Quen3 Coder model open, but they also just released a brand new CLI tool, a fork from the recently open source Gemini CLI, that can take advantage of all the model's agentic properties, like the ability to run X execute and test your code from the command line. That's terrifying news for any programmer still left with a job, but mathematicians are also on life support right now because both Google and OpenAI just achieved gold medals in the International Mathematical Olympiad. In today's video, we'll take a look at the latest AI breakthroughs and find out if Quen3 Coder can actually compete with Claude 4. It is July 23rd, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. Just last week, the open model scene got a big upgrade with the Chinese Kimi K2, but now, Quen3 Coder pushes things even further. The model was trained on 7.5 trillion tokens with a 70% code ratio. In other words, it's seen a billion times more code than the average developer with 50 years of experience. They even used their previous model to clean up noisy training data, the highly meta process where AI basically determines which data to use to train itself. When it comes to the training process, they use something called long horizon reinforcement learning across 20,000 parallel environments. The model actually tries to solve real world problems and real environments environments where it's executing and testing code. You can think of Quen's training infrastructure like a coding boot camp with 20,000 graduates all working on the same problem simultaneously, except they never get tired, never argue, and never ask is this a breaking change. And the end result speaks for itself in these benchmarks. But based on this benchmark, Quen is outperforming Kimi and GPT 4.1 and almost on par with Claude 4, but doing so with a much smaller model size, which is important because the bigger the model, the more electricity and GPUs you need to run it. What's What's also really impressive about Quen3 Coder is that it has a 256,000 token context window that can stretch up to 1 million tokens. But for reference, that's enough to hold the entire code base of most startups and all of their technical debt. Quen3 Coder is an open weight model, but if you think you're going to run it locally on your laptop, it's time for a reality check. To harness the full girth of the 480 billion parameter version, you would need tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of GPUs, along with a large wallet to pay the electricity bill. Realistically, to try it, you'd want to get an API key from a cloud provider, then hook it up to the new Quen CLI tool, which again is a fork of the Gemini CLI. Overall, this does appear to be a big leap forward for open coding models, but I doubt that it will make much of a dent in Claude's dominance in the coding world. To beat Claude, a company needs to release a model that's not only open and inexpensive, but that surpasses Claude's capabilities by a significant margin. Like OpenAI was recently supposed to release its own open model, but that's been delayed, with the rumor for the delay being that these Chinese models would absolutely crush it. That's just one of many L's taken by OpenAI recently, like Zuck gutting all of their talent, but OpenAI did get a big win a few days ago when they achieved a gold medal in the International Mathematical Olympiad. What's funny though is that they made a dick move by announcing this before the closing ceremonies of the event in order to overshadow Google and the press, who also achieved gold medal level performance. However, that ended up backfiring because it just made OpenAI look desperate. But if you want to write really good code with AI, you need to check out CodeRabbit, the sponsor of today's video. Video. Their free VS Code extension gives you advanced code reviews right in your editor, and their new Fix All with AI feature passes all of CodeRabbit's review context directly to the AI code agent of your choice, so it can make all the changes for you. This saves you from needing to click on each review comment yourself, giving you more time to write even more broken code like a true artisan. CodeRabbit is free to use in the IDE and works seamlessly with VS Code and forks like Cursor and Windsurf. Download it for free with the link below to try it out. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.